Hi everybody and welcome to Homestead Tessie. Today I'm going to make one of our favorite dinner rolls. I'm also going to be sharing with you a meal and I'm making a dessert. This is something that people have been requesting for years. What desserts do we make? Stay tuned everyone. Looking through the kitchen window, cooking with Homestead Tessie. Spending time in the kitchen once again for my family. I am making a casserole. I've already done a video on this, but I am making what it's called is party brat, and that is bread dough. And so I thought I would just turn the camera on and show you. So what it is, it comes from this cookbook. It's a big cookbook. And it's a bread machine cookbook, and it is white bread dough and it's whole wheat and then you alternate it it looks really neat i don't know how it's going to turn out but i thought i would share with you party brat these traditional swiss german rolls are baked as one in a round pan as the name suggests party brat is the perfect for entertaining well i am of german descent and i've never heard of this and my ancestors are from switzerland but this is something I've never heard of. We always just had homemade rolls. We had potato rolls is mostly what we ate. But I'm gonna put this together. I am going to mix my bread in the bread dough and then I will show you the casserole. But the casserole comes from here and I'm making once again the pizza noodle bake. I'll show that right here because I had just made that. My kids love it and I wanna make double because I'm going to have two different meals this week with different children that are coming. Okay, well, I'm gonna get working on it. I always share my recipe underneath my video in the description box. Now that depends on your device. On a laptop computer, that is what I use. The description box is always under the video. If you're on a phone or an iPad, I do not know where that is simply because I do not use those items. But wherever your description box is, is where you're gonna find all of my recipes, all of my links, and everything else that you need. So depending on your device, it may be on the side, it may be underneath the video, it may be somewhere else. If somebody has a device that is a phone, maybe they could put it in the comments where the description box is because I have so many people asking me and I have no idea. I was so excited over those heirloom rolling pins that I never even done the video sharing with you that the same woman gave me this very 1988 vintage bread machine and it was like brand new so this is what i'm using today i love these new spoons i got because on the inside it has a dip in it and it's really nice you can really scoop out a lot of stuff with it so one of these is going to be no meat because my one daughter does not eat meat and the other ones they want extra meat so we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the noodles in each of these. Everyone, I gotta ask you this have you ever heard of a Swedish dishcloth I never heard of them but I recently got them and they are really cool so they come in sheets like this and they're stiff when you make them wet they turn into this I don't know how long they're gonna last but I think they are so cool they have really neat prints on them so next time you're in the market for something a little unusual try them out they're pretty cool all right now it's two hours later and I'm going to be working on a dessert. 
I know everybody asks me, when am I gonna make desserts? We don't eat a whole lot of desserts here, but we eat a lot of fruit desserts if we're gonna eat anything like that. I have these little pie shells that I got out of the freezer, and I have my homemade blackberry pie filling, and my homemade pie crumbs. I did this video a few years ago, it's amazing. These are homemade pie crumbs or apple cobbler crumbs. You can use them for lots of things. And then this is my homemade blackberry pie filling. In a matter of minutes, I'm gonna make a dessert. And to that, you add four tablespoons of butter. Use a pastry fork or two forks. And we're gonna go ahead, and all we do is we fill up our pie shells. It's just so simple. Now put the pie crumbs on it, and there we have a dessert. If I had some ice cream, I'd add a scoop of ice cream with it, but we can eat it just as good plain. And that is how I get my bread to rise. Now it's set at 150, that's because the lid was on it. It'll get back down to 100 here in a moment. And in a matter of an hour, it will all be risen. And after a morning of cooking, look at all the empty jars ready to be filled again. And here are the little pies. And then I made these little cobblers with the leftover. And the sun oven worked perfect to get them to rise. Now we're gonna bake them at 350 for about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. 